Hello friends, I just door dashed um, chicken salad chick for the first time ever. We just recently got one in our area and I'm so excited to try it because I see everyone like rave about it on TikTok. First off, I got this watermelon iced tea. It is so, so good. It's very, very sweet, but so good. And I just love this little logo. I'm gonna show you what I got. Look, they have everything all customized. Um, but I got a sandwich and I got, I think it was the chicken carol, which is kind of like their original chicken salad. They have so many different flavors of chicken salad. Honestly, I wish they had like a sampler option to try all the different flavors, but I just went with the regular one since it's my first time trying it. Um, all the sandwiches come with tomatoes, lettuce, and then I also did um, extra mayo and I added bacon onto mine. All of the, the meal is called the chick and it comes with all of this. Um, they all come with a pickle and a cookie, a little sugar cookie. And then I got the grape salad for my side. Everyone on TikTok talks about the grape salad. So there is what I got for first time getting um, chicken salad chick. Okay, friends, happy Tuesday. We got the goods. This place is called Moki Nut, and it's, um, they're all over. So, how cute, how cute are these boxes? More than just a donut. Um, I didn't get a boba this time. I think these are the donuts, or maybe this is the corn dogs. These must be the donuts, hold on. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we have the original Moki Nut cookies and cream, and then this one is some sort of churro, but it's a pink churro. More than just a donut, always near you. And so the two little ones and I are going to share these because I wanted to sample all the flavors. And then these are for me. So this is a hot Cheetos corn dog. And then this is the original Moki Nut with um, mozzarella cheese inside. So that is going to be my lunch. Okay, I've been filming try on hauls for the past couple of hours and it's hot as heck outside. Um, but let's go ahead and see if this does that pool that everyone talks about. Mm, not really, but I also got it delivered. So the cheese probably had time to settle. That's really, really good though. It's kind of sweet. Now this is the hot Cheetos. This is just a regular corn dog. Mm, that's really good. Okay. So there's that, first time trying Korean corn dogs. Okay, here's fun stuff from the grocery store. A bunch of coconut waters, cause it doesn't know that just sounds so refreshing, like the cold coconut water. Um, and then this is my favorite hummus, the olive tapenade with like some veggies or crackers, so yummy. And then I haven't seen this at Walmart before, dark chocolate hummus. So gonna try this with some fruit. Um, so these ice pops for the kids, freedom pops. Fresh peaches, again, less exciting, but I'm just excited that there's peaches um, at the store. And then trying these hand soaps, one lavender and one coconut. Okay, here's a fun little snack. We've got Nutella on toast with these little Lucky Charms marshmallows on top for the little ones. Okay, friends, big kids are back. So here's what we're having for breakfast. Um, just like the toast that we had yesterday, except I did pancakes with Nutella and the Lucky Charms marshmallows. And then I also did a little fruit salad with peaches, strawberries, and blueberries, except for my son because he doesn't like blueberries. Also, he's probably too big for these little kid plates because he eats so much now. But there is breakfast. And then I also meal prepped some overnight oats. Um, so old fashioned oats and some mess over here. Chia seeds, chocolate protein powder. I put frozen strawberries and bananas on top. Um, and chocolate chips. And I also added a little bit of maple syrup. 
these ones are not very pretty also the strawberries in the last frozen bag i got were um, sliced in this bag they are full so that's going to be kind of harder to eat but there is um, breakfast prep for the next four days here is a little snack tray for myself um it's somewhere between like a snack and lunch because i'm not like totally hungry for a full lunch but tuna fish with some mayo i used this sweet and spicy shrimp light tuna a little bowl of cottage cheese a little bowl of that olive tapenade hummus and then this is that chocolate hummus with some blueberries these mary's crackers they're so good i love these crackers and cucumbers and that's my little snack slash lunch i kind of had a late breakfast and so I'm not quite hungry for lunch yet but i know if i don't eat something i'll be ravenous later so that's what we're having hello friends it's the next day um i just did a workout making pancakes again because the kids requested it we've got some fourth of july american flag plates i really need to decorate for fourth of july i think it's like two weeks away I wanted to decorate for Pride Month. Maybe I, maybe it's not too late or maybe I should just like order some things for next year just to like decorate the house a little bit. I still have this wreath up. I wanted to get like something a little more like obviously Pride, but I, I don't know. This one's got bright colors. I don't know. I wanted like rainbow flag sort of vibes. Also over here, we have our little summer. There's also a sun, but I thought this one was more fitting for summer vacation little summer magnet on here. Also quick outfit of the day. I haven't shared my workout outfits for a while because I kind of just wear the same sets over and over, but I shared this Ecowar sports bra in my last Ecowar haul. Um, these are just super short sheen shorts. I love them. They're so comfortable. I like the, the shorts and the pants that I got in that one haul I did more than like the colorful sets. Um, lighting is not very good in here. But I also love this sports bra. It has really good support. Um, and it's cute and it looks cute with the black shorts. I think that's it for now. I did want to show my stroller setup. Um, maybe I'll do that later today. Um, Cause soccer season's about to end and I've been meaning to show y'all how I do my stroller when we're at the soccer fields. Cause I think it's pretty nifty. Okay, I did find a pride flag. I won't open the whole thing up. But we do have a pride flag. Um, that's the only Pride Month decor that we have, though. Okay, I'm not Jess fam. I'm not comfortable filming in public. I'm even a little nervous to film in my backyard where, like, neighbors could hear me talking to myself. So, here's my stroller. Um, is that angle too weird? I don't know. Double stroller. It's a sit and stand. So when your kids get older, they can sit on this little bench. But you can also put an infant car seat right here and then normal seat in the front. So here's how we do it. Yeti. And then diaper bag has these. Velcro straps. So you put them right here. There's also five cup holders on this thing. And so like me and my kids, there's five of us. So one, two, three, four, and then a fifth in the front. And then this little chair doesn't have a bag. I don't know what happened to the bag. So I usually just put it right here. And there are, there's a buckle for the bench right here. And then this came in a FabFitFun box like a couple years ago. I love it. It's um, a picnic blanket. And so sometimes I'll use that. So that'll go in there too. And then chairs. I'll either put here and push or They'll go over my shoulder. I usually don't carry all three, actually. The older kids can carry their own chairs, but that is how I do my solo soccer mom days with four kids. And the two older kids walk and the two younger kids are in here. The two older kids are the ones playing, and so they walk anyways, you know? So 
that's the the setup and then important things like my bag is for the kids stuff but I like to keep like my wallet keys cell phone in here so it's on my chest I don't have to worry about anyone stealing it I've, I've already raved about this these bags in my last vlog but love it okay anyways that's how I set up the stroller for soccer days usually there's a lot more water bottles but you guys get the gist I forgot to mention the picnic blanket is because sometimes the kids will like will prefer to sit on that when we're watching the games but also sometimes we do have picnics at the field depending on what time of day they have games or if there's like a long gap between games and we'll have picnics there so picnic blanket is for that all right friends i just did a ton a ton of meal prep i hope you can hear me over the barbie show right now but i did a bunch of salmon bowls a couple chicken bowls um so these ones have salmon sweet potatoes brown rice and asparagus so i've got four like that and then these ones have salmon mixed veggies brown rice two like that and then two with the same mixed veggies brown rice but these ones have shredded chicken two like that and then these are just like um, a combination of everything that I had left over. So I had some rice left over, I had mixed veggies left over, and I had sweet potatoes left over. So I added them to these bowls. I think these eight, I'm gonna freeze. These two I'll put in the fridge, have today and tomorrow, and I'm just gonna throw like a fried egg on top, just for like some added protein. So two that I'm gonna eat with an egg, two chicken, and then six salmon all together, but there's different varieties. So, 10 different meal preps. Um, I'm probably going to get sick of these meals. I think this is the biggest like batch of meal preps of the same meal preps I've done at once. But uh, there we go. And now my kitchen is a disaster and I have tons and tons of dishes to do. All right, 4th of July decorations starting off. Y'all have seen this wreath every single year, but this Welcome Friends wreath, like burlap um, sack sort of material. I got it at Walmart years and years ago. I love it. And it also has these, what, what is this metal called? I don't know, it just looks really rustic and I love it. And y'all know I love the like holiday trucks. Now the wreath I love, but the magnet that this little thing came with for 4th of July, I hate. It's a little 4th of July cupcake. I don't know why it's not just like a regular flag. Everything else for all the other holidays is like normal stuff. I don't know why they have like a random cupcake for 4th of July. It's not my favorite. It's also the smallest magnet. So like all the other magnets take up the space and that this one has like a huge little like a, the gap is huge I don't know not my favorite but this I'm so proud of how our little armoire turned out um for most holidays I feel like it's either too full or it's not full enough I think this is like the perfect amount like there's still a lot of decorations it's still overflowing with decorations but it doesn't look too cluttered i'm sure some people probably do think it looks too cluttered but up here i have this vase and i put these three big flags these are supposed to be like outside in your garden or whatever but i put those three big flags in that vase um each of the kids made these with grandma i think last year when, no not the youngest just the three oldest did so i did them in like a diagonal line one on each layer um, and then these, all of these little things I got off Amazon. If you look like tiered tray decor for whatever holiday you need, you can get a bunch of like little things like this for a tiered tray. I don't have a tiered tray though. I just put them on my armoire. So Land of the Free because of the Brave, USA, God bless America. It also came with this guy. It came with this banner. And these are like, um, like it's not a paper banner. They're not plastic not wood either. I don't know the material. And then it also came with these two smaller flags, which I put inside these mugs that Garrett got in Washington DC a few years ago. He got them as like his and her mugs, but they're just too big for coffee. So um, they actually, we don't ever use them for anything. This is the first year I think I've ever put them out as decor, but um, two Washington DC mugs and then this was my oldest and I asked him if I could keep it for 4th of July decor. Um, he got like a little candy bouquet um, several months ago and he ate all the candy bars that were like sticking out of it. And I was like, and I, and I asked him, I was like, can I put this at the 4th of July decor so we can use it to decorate? And he said, yes. So um, it's just like a painted mason jar and then it has like these little things sticking out. And like I said, when um, he received it as a gift, it had like, 
skewers with chocolate bars also sticking out of the top. Such a cute gift idea, by the way. Um, so I have that in the corner. It looks kind of dark, um, but there is that. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Hello, hello, friends. It is the very tail end of Saturday night. I'm about to tidy up just a little bit. I think I'm going to get up early tomorrow or at least try to get up before the kids and just like try to get some stuff done before the week starts. I'm starting off by putting a pimple patch on my chin on this pimple that I've had all freaking week and it will not go away and these pimple patches are doing no good. I also wanted to share, I got this several weeks ago. I haven't talked about it yet though. I got it at my wax place. I asked the waxer um, if they had anything that was like good for preventing ingrown hairs. And she recommended this Vanish PFB Ultra Triple Action Skin Lightening and Post Hair Removal Serum Corrects, Heals, and Brightens Skin. And it's like a roller ball. And when you get out of the shower, you just like roll it. Um, it's supposed to um, prevent and heal ingrowns. And so far, so good. So far, I'm liking it. I like that it's a roller ball because it's, it's like just really easy to use. I wish all lotions and everything were like a roller ball and then you didn't have to like get your hands greasy when you're like rubbing lotion in um which honestly i probably should get it on my hands because i feel like my hands look so wrinkly and old lately let me put something on my hands actually i feel like they just look all wrinkly lately with like being outside so much and getting a tan and just life I don't know. And I'm just using this Dr. Teal's Body Collagen. This is my favorite moisturizer lately. I like using it on my like stretch marks. It has hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, shea and cocoa butter, essential oils, and plus collagen. So like all the good things that you hear about that you need for your skin. Actually, I've heard that like collagen doesn't work. I've heard mixed things about collagen. That it only works if you ingest it. But then other people say to put it on your skin and then other people say, that doesn't work. You have to ingest it. Um, and yeah, I am not doing my full skincare yet because I'm going to leave this on for a couple hours, but just putting some Blistex on now. I actually love this, but it leaves a film on your lip, on your lips. There's a little skincare product, mini product review thing. I don't know. The kids had soccer games today. This is the last weekend of soccer until fall time. Um, kids had games today. We got Whataburger. I got the Dr. Pepper milkshake and it was really good. It tasted not so much like Dr. Pepper, but more like a cherry chocolatey milkshake. And I know cherry is like one of the flavors in Dr. Pepper, but it was really good, especially if you like cherry flavor. And then I laid out in the pool for a good hour. Um, my little lounging tanning pool. I put cucumbers on my eyes. I got a clip of that. I put cucumbers on my eyes so I could like lay back and tan and not have to worry about like sunglasses or anything. And it was nice. It was relaxing. Um, so that's how our Saturday has been. And that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye friends. Mm -hmm.